Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today, as usual, man. You guys know the deal on this channel, man. We must continue to stand up. We must continue to set the record straight, guys. We must continue to do this, all right? We must continue to stop the lies and stop the narratives, man. And in this video, we're going to speak about how Kyrie Irving's never been given his just due by LeBron James and the LeBron James fans. He never got his just due. He's never been given his credit for the 2016 NBA Finals. We're going to talk about it in this video. And I want to thank you guys, man. Everyone across the world, everyone across the states has been supporting my channel, guys. I am truly, truly home by all the support, guys. It means a lot for real, man. You guys, like I said, commenting, liking my videos, subscribing, man. This is how you guys support. My channel's nothing without you guys, man, for real. The channel's come a long way. I, I would have never thought that the channel would have gotten as far as it's gotten, guys. You know, just me yelling here in my car, man. So much respect to all you guys, man, for appreciating what I'm doing. We must continue to stand up. Shout out to everybody in the membership, man. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I said, man, shout out to Kyrie Irving, man. This man, <laughs> now listen, Kyrie Irving to me is like an enigma, man. I have like a love-hate relationship with Kyrie Irving. It's similar to a, Ka a Kawhi Leonard, but it's a little bit different with, with Kyrie Irving, man. Because Kyrie Irving to me, some of the problems I have with him or I've had with him has been due to his intangibles or lack of things like leadership. To me, Kyrie Irving's not a leader. And to me, Kyrie Irving doesn't really carry himself with any honor or integrity, right? And all that stuff kind of got exposed on Brooklyn. And people, we can say whatever we want, man. I'm not going to get into that stuff. But Kyrie Irving, to me, like I said, in Boston and in Brooklyn, he exposed himself, man, as not being a true, true leader, per se. The one thing that we can never deny, though, about Kyrie Irving, though, is his skills on the basketball court and his ability to step up in big moments. This has been Kyrie Irving. This has been his M.O. to make big shots, to step up when it matters, right? And the skills are undeniable about Kyrie Irving, his ball handling ability, his ability to finish under the rim, right? It's excellent. But when we think about the 2016 NBA Finals, guys, that's really Kyrie Irving's claim to fame, the way that he played in those finals. Because for me, when you watch those NBA Finals, guys, specifically if you watch games three through seven, right? Those last five games, right? Because we all know the first two games, if you guys remember that series, they were ugly. They were blowouts. The, the Golden State Warriors just to completely destroyed the Cavaliers those first two games. They weren't even close. But then game three happened. And if you guys remember in game three, Kyrie Irving came out and dropped like 20 points in the first quarter. And the Cavaliers essentially won the game in the, fourth, in the first quarter, guys. Essentially, they won the game in the first quarter. If you remember that series, you remember that game three. Remember, they were down two games and nothing. In that game three, they came out and blew the Warriors out. They beat them by 30, guys. It was like, like 120 to 90 or something like that, I think the game was. They blew them out. And it essentially was over in the first quarter, guys. Kyrie Irving came out on fire and ended the, the Golden State Warriors right in the first quarter. Like I say, dropped like almost 20 points in the first quarter, guys. And that was the end of the game, essentially, for that game three, right? And that was pretty much the beginning of Kyrie Irving outplaying Steph Curry. That was the beginning of it right there, guys. Like, game four would happen. They would lose game four, right? And then games five came around, and we all remember what happened in game four, right? The altercation with LeBron James and Draymond Green. Draymond Green gets suspended for game five. And Kyrie Irving proceeds to drop 41 points, right, alongside LeBron James, who also scored 41. I believe it was the first time in NBA's history that teammates have scored 40-plus in the same game. I believe it was the first time in the history of the NBA. And... This is what we're alluding to, right? Kyrie Irving in that game four, guys, I mean game five, this man was hitting shots in angles. I mean, it was crazy some of the things that he was doing. The man, I believe, shot 71% from the field in that game, guys. I think he shot like, I don't even know what he was, five or seven from the three-point line and like 17 of 22, whatever he was. He was some crazy, like I said, 70-some percent, uh, like, just, like I said, the, the shots that he was making, man, this, this man couldn't be stopped. He could not be denied. And he played great alongside LeBron James, right? Taking the pressure off of LeBron James, right? Helping him out. 
And game six would be more of the same. Kyrie Irving would put on a show again in game six, man. Hitting massive shots in game six, man. Holding off the Golden State Warriors rallies. Right? And once again, these games were blowouts. Game five, game six. These were the Cavaliers winning handily. 15, 16 point wins. And like I said, Kyrie Irving always scoring a basket. Right when it looked like the Warriors were going to make a run, it was Kyrie Irving to score a basket that stopped the run. Right? That's literally how it happened, guys. I remember watching all these games, man. And then we all know what happened in Game 7. At the end of that game, no one could score. Kyle, Steph Curry couldn't score. Klay Thompson couldn't score. LeBron James couldn't score. No one scored, guys, for like two, three minutes. At the end of that game, if you remember, it was going back and forth. LeBron James had the block on Iguodala. J.R. Smith gets no credit right, for his hustle down the court, making Iguodala adjust Right, that shot. Never gets any credit. And LeBron James coming with the block. And then what would happen? The game was tied. There's about a minute to go. The Cleveland Cavaliers were going to draw up a play, a play for LeBron James to have the ball in his hands at the end of that game. And LeBron James said, no, give the ball to Kyrie. He literally said that. He told Ty Lue, give the ball to Kyrie. See, this is LeBron James, guys. He understood that the guy that he was playing with was a better clutch time performer than he was. He understood the guy that he was playing with was known for making shots in big moments, was a better shooter, right? This was Kyrie Irving's M.O., man, and LeBron James understood that. So he deferred to Kyrie Irving. His fans don't want to talk about these things, though, right? So LeBron James stood in the corner, biting his fingernails, hoping Kyrie Irving wouldn't make the shot. And what did Kyrie Irving do? He sized up Klay Thompson. They ran a screen to get Steph Curry on him because Steph Curry's not known as a good defensive player, right? So they exposed Steph Curry's defensive abilities. And Kyrie Irving stared him down, dribbled into his rhythm, and shot the shot, right? To this day, the biggest shot in Cleveland Cavaliers history. But what I tell you guys, LeBron James and his fans will never give Kyrie Irving the just due that he deserves for that 2016 NBA Finals. The man averaged 27 points a game, four rebounds, four assists on, I believe, 47, excuse me, 47% shooting, uh, 41 or 42% from the three-point line, and 93% from the free throw line. This man almost went 50-40-90 in the 2016 NBA Finals, guys. He probably would have went 50-40-90 if it wasn't for those first couple of games. This Kyrie Irving, guys, in the NBA Finals. To me, Kyrie Irving was... The X Factor, without Kyrie Irving playing the way that he did, shooting the way that he shot, making the, the shots that he did, like I said, making Steph Curry work on defense, running Steph Curry all over the place, making Klay Thompson earn it, working on defense. Without that, the Cavaliers don't come anywhere close to winning that series, guys. As great as LeBron James was in that finals, Kyrie Irving was just as great. This is what we're always alluding to when we hear LeBron James say, that one right there made me the greatest of all time. This is why he looks like an idiot when he says that. Because once again, you're taking away from Kyrie Irving and you're acting as if Kyrie Irving wasn't there averaging 27 points a game. LeBron James, I believe, averaged 29 points a game in that series, guys. Kyrie Irving averaged 27. We're talking about two-point difference here. When during the regular season, let's not forget, Kyrie Irving was coming back from the, the fractured kneecap right, in the finals year before. So he missed about 30 games that season. So during that season, Kyrie Irving averaged 19 points a game, guys, during the regular season. And I believe he averaged about, I don't know, 23 or 24 points a game in the playoffs leading up to the finals, guys. And then the NBA finals, he upped it to 27 points a game, guys. This Kyrie Irving, he was sensational, guys. Nothing short of sensational in those NBA finals. So much so that to me, Kyrie Irving... Probably should have won the Finals MVP. Like I said, with the performance he put on, the Game 7 shot, all the games leading up to that, Game 3, Game 5, Game 6, and Game 7, to me, Kyrie Irving probably should have gotten the Finals MVP. But we know they would never give Kyrie Irving a Finals MVP over LeBron James because that destroys the narratives that LeBron James never has help. He's carrying teams. It's always LeBron James and just a bunch of bums. They can't give a Finals MVP, which is why they would never give a Finals MVP to an Anthony Davis in 2020. They never would do that. They can't do that because they know that Michael Jordan has all of his Finals MVPs, so they can never shortchange LeBron James and give someone else a Finals MVP. But you'll hear the LeBron James fan club tell us 
that Dennis Rodman should have won the MVP, the Finals MVP in 1996 because he averaged a certain amount of rebounds. But Kyrie Irving doesn't deserve the Finals MVP in 2016, even though he outplayed the regular season MVP handily in the Finals. He outplayed him. Averaged 27 points a game in the NBA Finals. Michael Jordan never had anybody average close to 27 points a game in an NBA Finals, guys. This is Kyrie Irving. But his fans never say anything. LeBron James, no, never gives uh, Kyrie Irving any just due. Never celebrates Kyrie Irving. As a matter of fact, a lot of people don't realize this. Following that NBA Finals performance by Kyrie Irving, where, I, like I just said, he was masterful and hit the biggest shot in the history of Cavaliers. The biggest shot ever, guys. One of the biggest shots in NBA Finals history. Right after that series, guys, in that summer, LeBron James tried to have Kyrie Irving traded for Chris Paul. These are the facts, guys. And this goes to why Kyrie Irving ends up leaving after the 2017 season. He got tired of LeBron James' antics. Once again, LeBron James not being a great teammate, going behind players' backs and trying to get them traded. Right? I tell you, but people, LeBron James fans tell us he's this great person. He's a great teammate, but he's always getting his teammates traded behind their backs. He tried to get Kyrie Irving traded behind his back for Chris Paul, his boy, Chris Paul, right? Even though Kyrie Irving had just put up a massive performance helping LeBron James, it wasn't good enough. Why is that? Because he did not want Kyrie Irving to get the attention he was getting. Kyrie Irving hitting that shot really meant a big deal, right? Especially for LeBron James. Because it wasn't LeBron James hitting that shot. It wasn't. LeBron James put Kyrie Irving out there on that island when he said, hey, Ty Lue, draw up the play for Kyrie Irving. He put him on that island. So what? If Kyrie Irving would have missed that shot and the Golden State Warriors were to win the game, they could blame Kyrie Irving handily. But Kyrie Irving makes that shot. But what happens? Right? What happens, guys? LeBron James makes about himself. Right? He starts crying. Right? Don't forget, guys, that they had to give him the Finals MVP. They could not do that. Right? Once again, another LeBron James teammate not getting their just due, playing with LeBron James. Meanwhile, all we hear about Michael Jordan is his teammates. They'll always be on Scottie Pippen or Dennis Rodman or Tony Kukos or Steve Kerr. We'll always hear those guys' names brought up. But they, the LeBron fans will never mention Kyrie Irving. They'll never mention this man in the 2016 NBA Finals. Scottie Pippen never scored 40 points, guys, in an NBA Finals game. Never even came close to 40 points, guys. Kyrie Irving scored 40 points twice with LeBron James. Once in 2016, once in 2017. But wasn't enough, though, for LeBron James. Wasn't enough. LeBron James ain't got no help, though. This way his fans always tell us, LeBron ain't got no help. LeBron never has any help. He needs more help. And they'll blame Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving broke up the Cavaliers. No, LeBron James... Alienated Kyrie Irving by trying to get him traded behind his back. His fans never talk about that. The media, they'll never bring this stuff up. They'll just bring up Kyrie Irving this, Kyrie Irving that. They tear down Kyrie Irving. And I've told you guys, yes, Kyrie Irving lacks leadership. A lot of leadership. He loves, he does. He's not a great defensive player. right? Kyrie Irving's got holes in his game, no doubt about it. But what he does well, he does very well. And what he does well is what the Cavaliers needed him to do. And that's what he did. He shot the ball. He scored the ball. Without Kyrie Irving, the, the, the Cavaliers do not come close to winning that title, guys. But LeBron James will tell you that one made him the greatest of all time. Essentially, what he's saying is that it was him carrying the Cavaliers and no one else did anything. The entire playoff run, guys, Kyrie Irving was massive. So shout out to Kyrie Irving. Like I said, man, he's an enigma. To me, he's, he's weird Kyrie Irving, man. He's kind of sabotaged his own career. Uh, he had the ability, once again, these guys have potential, they have the quote-unquote skills to do something, but they don't have the head for it, right? They don't have the intangibles. Once again, these guys in this era are getting exposed for lack of intangibles, lack of heart, grit, leadership, honor, integrity, class, respect, all these things. They lack this, right? Things that you would have thought grown men would have had, they don't really have in this era. And Kyrie Irving lacks a lot of those things. But it doesn't take away from his performance in the 2016 NBA Finals, guys. You guys know the deal, man. LeBron James never gives Kyrie Irving any just due, man. And this is what we're talking about, right? Michael Jordan always gave his teammates credit, always bigged them up, always gave them their shine, their just dues. And he always took the blame. 
Now LeBron James. LeBron James has always put the blame on his teammates and has always taken the credit. Has taken all the credit all the time. Right? They win in 2016. He's the greatest of all time. They lose in 2017. He ain't got no help. Oh, the Warriors are too great. It's always an excuse, right, guys? Right? Never takes any blame. Always takes all the credit, right? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. I'm averaging a triple-double. That's what he said in 2017. They're getting smoked, right? Well, I'm averaging triple They were down three games and nothing. I'm averaging triple-double. This is LeBron James, guys. This is where he is in his mind. You guys know the deal, man. Shout out to Kyrie Irving, man. He deserves a lot more credit for that 2016 NBA Finals than LeBron James and his fans ever give him credit for, man. They're too busy worrying about Michael Jordan and his teammates or Kobe Bryant in his game than they are about LeBron James and the guys who actually did help LeBron James. But they want to keep saying he ain't had no help. LeBron James had a lot of help. Once again, Michael Jordan never had anybody come close to averaging 27 points a game in an NBA Finals. You guys know the deal, man. I catch you guys on the next one.